All right, coaches, welcome back to Big Tour of the World. I'm Coach Allen. I uh, just want to welcome you back to this short little series, a little um, direction of where we're going. You know, we're wrapping up our short series as we got a lot of guys getting into off-season training. I think the majority of America did, unlike we did in Virginia, you all actually practice, practiced and played games this fall. We are waiting until February to get going with that. We've been working – Working out as a team, doing some pod unit practice type stuff, but we haven't gotten to play games yet. The hope is that February, knock on wood, we'll be playing ball games. Now, today I want to talk about three drills for hip flexibility. I'm trying to get into more training stuff now as we get going through the winter to sort of help you all out. I know the majority of you all are training. You're going to be geared up for um, spring football, but a big series we're getting ready to start next. And our next episode is breaking down the single wing. I did an offensive deep dive back at the end of my first, back at the beginning of my first season here, um, back in the summer. I did an offensive deep dive breaking down the wing T offense. Now I'm excited to look down at the single wing offense. Why am I excited about this? I'm an air raid guy. Well, because, you know, the single wing offense has always been offense that's sort of intriguing to me. I've always made the comment if I ever went somewhere with the right type of attitude, the right type of personnel, sort of a bullying type, bruiser type personnel um, type of kid, I would love to put in the single wing. And I'm excited. I've already started deep diving in here um, to study the formation and study its history and study its roots. And I'm one of those weird, nerdy history major guys who likes to – deep dive into stuff like that. And for me, you're combining two of my loves there with hi history and football. So I'm excited about that. Um, the other thing I was going to tell you all and just mention, remember, as we're getting into the holiday season, hop on, get on that newsletter. It gives plenty of free content and a couple different paid options you might want. But our newsletter offers weekly stuff on the offensive line every Hey, coaches, sorry about that. If you see a weird splicing as I splice those videos in, I'm actually, it's funny, I've started hit, yeah, hit film, and it never happens, but I've gotten two phone calls already when I'm trying to start filming. But thankfully for Screencastify, not a paid advertisement there. I can just stop and then edit. It's a pretty quick, easy editor for you guys who are doing YouTube stuff. Okay, but like I said, just a reminder, single wing in the newsletter, great stuff. Got some paid content, too, on the newsletter we're offering out, like building your own Google Classroom to help with your offensive line, um, 10 drills, and a playbook. So good stuff to look at. Now, first thing we're getting into, we're getting into three drills that you need for your offensive linemen in this offseason to help with fl hip flexibility. And then just offensive linemen, I mean, hip mobility, hip flexibility is key for any player in the game of football. Hurdles, Okay. One of the things that I love doing, okay, you have – obviously you're stepping over forward, step over with proper form, working on shooting your knee up, getting that hip rotation in and stepping over the hurdle without falling all over yourselves. I also like side stepping over it and side kicking and getting the high kicks over it. Um, drop and explode. I'll talk about drop and explode in a second. High low is another one I like to do, so I'll set up a turtle – down just a little bit above its lowest level, okay, or I'll set a hurdle up at its highest level, and my lineman will start straddling and duck underneath of it, sort of keeping proper form, keeping their head up, and sort of slide underneath of the hurdle, and then they're going to step over top of a lower hurdle that's set up at its lowest level where you step over next. I've also done quick hops where we'll turn this hurdle on its side, and you're hopping over, back and forth, back and forth, just different stuff to work with the hurdles. Drop and explode is a new one. Our uh, speed coach really is, speed coach and defensive coordinator has developed where we're standing on a big plyo box right here. We have the hurdle at its lowest angle. You're going to drop down and then explode back up. So what are we working with the hurdles? You're getting your hips stretched out. You're getting them into different positions that you're not normally used to. Remember, I've talked about we need that on the offensive line. And you're also working on the power and the explosiveness in getting over that hurdle. Next one, great one that I think has been used great by our speed coach and our defensive coordinator here, bands. You can take your heavy bands, and we will do just like the picture is showing, and just take a little short six-inch steps and just work on our hips rotating outward and stepping. 
We'll do it on our hip thighs, then we'll do it on our ankles. Then when, when we're done moving side to side, we'll put it on our ankles. We'll take those six inch steps forward. We'll take the band and we'll put it on our ankles and we'll just flex our legs out. And that's just working on that hip rotation, kind of like that with your hip and ankle. Okay, that's a great exercise to do. And you're, you're not doing anything complicated, but you're getting your big guys stretched out. Remember the big thing with linemen is, guys, they're athletes inside those big bodies. They've never been required to do some of this flexibility type stuff before. Require it of them. You know, get them flexed out, see what they can do. Okay, one of the things that I used to do at Chatham, we got a hip flex. We got a hip swing machine um, just for this type of stuff. And then we started incorporating hurdles and everything else. Trying to work on speed for our faster guys, but also just getting into a stance and being able to flex from a position of power for our bigger guys. And speeding of power, squats. If you aren't incorporating squats into your workout, I don't know what you're doing. I've heard, heard of some football coaches – that like to run a, uh, a football program where they'll have a leg day. No. Okay, we're doing some type of squat every day, whether it's front squats, back squats. I will throw in very, I used to throw in variation of box squats, ATG squats, um, all sorts of different squats. Squat to press. All right, why? Because I want my guys always squatting and I want them staying low. And coach up the squat well, guys. Make sure we're getting to parallel and below. All right, I always tell my guys, go. I, I push the ATG squats quite a bit when I was at my old school as a head coach. You know, we're going to go ass to ground. And that was to get this out of a bad form because if we've got to get that hip flexibility, if he can't do this with the bar in his back, then you can start incorporating goblet squats where we take a dumbbell and we're right here and dropping our ass low. Or I'd get them grabbing onto the cage in a squat rack and just working their butts to the ground. And that way they're just working on that hip flexibility, that hip flexion in there to get them to explode up into a powerful movement. And finally, one for one event, bonus drill, yoga. If you are doing yoga, doing some type of deep stretching, really working on the flexibility and researching into that, guys, I think you should. It's a great thing for big guys. I think if you haven't incorporated that into your off-season workouts, you're really missing out. Okay, remember, we need to get our guys flexible. We need to get them in a more powerful position and use sustained low in their stance. And I think the more you flex that muscle out, especially in your yoga, your deep stretching, that type of stuff, the better athletes you're going to create and the better looser muscles you're going to create. Um, thank you, coaches. This was a short series. We're going to be working more on off-season stuff after I do this single wing deep dive. But I'm excited for the single wing deep dive. Like I told you all, big history buff. Big um, big running the ball buff, to be honest, despite being an air raid guy, so I'm kind of excited for it. Um, single wing football, I think, has been extremely successful at the high school level, and we can talk about different reasons why it may have faded in, faded out, but why I still think it could be a great offense today in the 21st century, okay? Uh, until next time, coaches, remember, the goal is to score big and to win on the scoreboard. To do that, you got to dominate in the trenches, and to do that, you got to know – that big rule the world. I'll see you next time, coaches. Thank you for continuing to watch Big Rule the World.